Hey everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. In this video, I want to talk about the 3 awesome upgrades in Anti-Gravity as well as the new rate limits for the subscription plan. Anti-Gravity is an AI-powered IDE developed by Google and powered by Gemini 3. It's designed to help builders and developers with coding tasks end-to-end. It has gained positive reviews from its release, and it's a pretty good tool when compared to others. It has generous free tier that gives you access to state-of-the-art models like Cloud Opus and Gemini Pro, and it offers a genuinely capable agentic development environment packed with useful features. I have covered this tool previously, and just a few days ago, Google shipped another major update with the release of Agent Skills. Now, what is Agent Skills? Well, in simple terms, Skills is an open standard that lets you extend what your agent can do. It allows you to provide instructions, best practice guides, or resources so that you don't have to re-explain the same workflow over and over again. Skills are reusable and they can be project-specific or globally available on your computer. Your AI agent can automatically discover and apply them when needed. When working on a specific project, there are some parts you probably describe over and over again in the prompt, things like API integrations, code review, unit testing, or even report generation. Now all of that can live inside reusable skills, package it as simple markdown documents, the agent can pick the right skill at the right time, which means faster process and more consistent results. You can also get verifiable proof artifacts after every run. Think of skills as instructions that teach anti-gravity how to handle specific tasks whenever they come up. Next, let me show you how to create skills in anti-gravity. Now before we jump into the exciting part, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss any new videos that can really level up your skills. Also, click on the bell to get notified whenever a new video comes out. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel, you really help me make useful videos just like this one. So on the screen here, I have anti-gravity open with an example project. I will explain this project in a moment. For now, let's create our first skill. First, we need to create a folder called dot agent and in that folder create a new folder called skills and in this folder create a folder named after the skill you want to create. For example, I'm going to create a code reviewer skill. Now in this folder you need to create a document named skill.md. Use uppercase letters for the name to make it stand out. This file will serve as the entry point of your skill. When your agent wants to use this skill, it will load the markdown file as the first step. Now I'm going to paste a skill that I have created previously. Here it is. So this skill is designed to review a code base and flag only critical issues. Low priority issues such as code style, formatting, or minor improvements will be skipped. Over here I described the core principles of this skill. The general workflow is start with establishing review scope and then gather critical context and identify critical issues. There is also the output format, create a comprehensive report as a markdown file, list the issue, exact code lines causing the issue, and three possible fixes. Also, tell it to get context from agents or cloud markdown file if they exist. Okay, so let's try to run this skill with Gemini. Here we have an example project of a customer and sales dashboard created using Next.js and TypeScript. Let me show you the project real quick. Just run npm run dev from the terminal. And then here in the browser, we can log into the application. And then we have a dashboard showing charts for insights. And then from the site menu, we can move to other pages, such as the company page here, and then insert or edit data within the app. Okay, back in anti-gravity, open the AI sidebar, and then just ask the AI to review the code base. I'm going to use the fast mode here, we don't need to plan for this. And then for the model, I'm going to use Gemini 3 Pro low mode. You can also use high mode or opus if you want to, and then enter the prompt in the chat box. And now we can also explicitly tell it to use a skill like this, but I'm not going to do that as I want to see if Gemini can discover the skill by itself. Alright, press enter. And here Gemini immediately loads the skill and then began to perform the action in accordance with the skill. It will first define the code review scope and then review the important parts of the code for critical issues that might crash the application. 
such as ABI connection, security, as well as read and write operation from and to the database. After a few minutes, it will gather the findings and then write a comprehensive report in Markdown format. Here we can see the report generated. So in the chat, we have a summary of the findings. And if we open the report document, we can see more details, such as the severity of the issue, exact lines causing the issue along with possible fixes. I will continue and review this later, but for now, I hope you can see how skills turns anti-gravity into an expert, context-aware helper that follows your project standards every single time as those standards are documented as skills. If you want to create your own skills, don't forget to check the documentation, the link will be in the description below. It provides more details such as the skill format, the folder structure, and best practices for creating useful skills. Next, there is also an update for parallel agents. Background tasks are now optimized and run much more effectively, as anti-gravity can operate at a higher architectural level. It's no longer just writing code, as it can orchestrate multiple agents at the same time. You can delegate long-running work to the background and focus on systems, workflows, and outcomes instead of individual components or functions. There's also a new secure mode, which adds stricter safety controls for agent execution. This mode limits which websites the agent can access, requires manual approval for terminal commands, accessing the browser, and artifact actions. It will also lock file access to just the current workspace while respecting the git ignore file. In short, it gives you more control, fewer surprises, and safer agent behavior. To activate secure mode, you can open the settings menu, and then select anti-gravity user settings. And then in the agent tab, you can toggle secure mode over here. When enabled, all agent actions will require your manual review, and the agent has restricted access to files. And now, there is one update that's not so great for users. Google has added weekly usage caps on top of the existing 5-hour refresh cycle for AI Pro users across anti-gravity and Gemini tools. According to Google, these limits are still generous and mainly affect heavy users only. They say it's about fairness and sustainability, especially with how much demand the platform is seeing right now. These caps don't apply to AI Ultra users, which remains unlimited, so most casual users probably won't notice much of a difference either. But if you're doing long, agentic coding sessions, you'll hit those limits a lot faster, which likely pushes you toward the Ultra plan. It's a bit unfortunate, but also kind of expected, since flat price promotions will eventually get dialed down over the time. Now, to make up for the new limits, Gemini 3 Flash was added to anti-gravity recently. It's available in the free tier as well, and compared to Gemini 3 Pro Low Mode, Flash plans faster and executes in roughly half the time. It's perfect for rapid agentic workflows and quick task execution. I personally like using Flash for implementing plans already created by Gemini Pro or Opus. Next, one of the most powerful features in anti-gravity is the browser integration. With browser subagent, the agent can run your browser whenever it's needed using a model specialized for operating on the pages that are open within the anti-gravity managed browser. This custom agent is powered with advanced tools that are necessary to control your browser, including clicking, scrolling, typing, reading console logs. It can also read your open pages through DOM capture, screenshots, or markdown parsing, as well as taking videos. It can generate and manipulate data directly inside the automated browser. For example here, it directly adds data from the operation to Google Sheets, letting you automate updates and organize data without switching tools. Here's another great demo where the to-dos inside the code base is turned into Jira tickets. This way, you don't need to switch tabs and enter to-dos as tasks one by one. Just let AI help you with the project management. You can also use it for crawling and onboarding workflows. This demo shows how the agent crawls the anti-gravity website to extract fonts, logos, and color palettes, then compiles a walkthrough for onboarding new team members. It can even draft an email inside Gmail for the new team member, which is absolutely great. Anti-gravity use a specialized browser as well. As you can see the blue lights around the browser, it indicates that the browser is being controlled by anti-gravity. All of this is available even on the free tier plan.
Overall, these agent skills, secure mode, and browser sub-agent update pushes anti-gravity even further. It makes agents more powerful, doing tasks more efficient and consistent, and it greatly upgrades the entire user experience. And now we have come to the end of this video, so what do you think about the anti-gravity upgrades and the new raid limits? I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I help you learn how to code and use AI tools. Make sure to subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell, like this video, all the good stuff as it really helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!